안녕하십니까? 이조은 치과의 손영희입니다. Greetings. I'm Dr. Son Youngmi of Eagle Dental Clinic. The patient of the day. This patient has many problems. The upper right quadrant, if you take a look, the premolars are impacted and they're not erupted. And towards the anterior palatal side of the upper, there is a mesial density. And in the lower right quadrant, number 45 and 6 are missing. Number 35, there is severe mobility. And in number 24, there is also root carious. This patient was introduced previously through online surgery. If you look at the timetable of the treatment process, we'd be able to see what kind of treatment the patient has received. This is pre-op CT. As you can see, there is a very severe sinus haziness. In the left sinus, there's a bit of air bubble rather than the tooth problem itself. I don't think that the calculus caused haziness in the sinus. Naturally, you could assume that there would be a huge defect if all these teeth were to be removed. If you look at CT, this is the situation. This is premolar. And you can see the teeth beyond the molar area. The sinus lateral wall is extremely thin and vertical bone height was about one millimeter. In other words, this is a very difficult case. This is a pre-op image. Extraction was done at June 2022. Extractions were done and supernumerary teeth was extracted. Allograft was used on the apex side and on top collagenated bone graft was used. Osmem Soft was used for coverage and surgery was completed. It would have been best if bone had been formed with the surgery. If you look at immediate post-op panoramic image, it's shown and with healing, you could see that no bone formation occurred and there was a defect yet again. If you look at CT at the time, there's membrane thickening and I think this problem erupted due to the patient's upper respiratory infection. And since then, surgery was performed after confirming clean sinus. However, bone graft materials did not turn into bone and they were mostly resorbed. It was devastating, but I could not give up. So I did surgery once again. This was the situation at the time. April 2023, AOS collagen was used for sinus graft and allograft and xenograft along with collagen membrane was used for augmentation. Sausage technique was used. So I want to show this surgery via online surgery. Let's look at the results. Surgery was done April 2023. This is post-op panoramic image. There is bone tack. If you look at the CT image, graft materials seem to be situated ideally. Graft containment was done nicely as well. In May 2023, as you can see in the sinus graft material, there was a bit of infection. The patient took medication for four weeks. The patient took augmentin to manage the situation. That's how this kind of situation was achieved in September 2023 in CT image. Bone consolidation was somewhat achieved, but there was also resorption as well. Perhaps it was due to my lack of technique or skills, a problem occurred once again. The sinus graft material, which previously showed infection, was improved. Perfect bone graft regeneration was not achieved and significant amount of resorption occurred. 
because the results were not ideal and because the desired amount of bone formation was not achieved, the implant was placed using one guide. The plan was to place 4 by 8.5 millimeter in number 13, in 14, 4.5 by 8.5, and in 15, 4.5 by 8.5, in number 16, 5 by 8.5, and 17, 5 by 8.5. Five implants were planned. When placing three implants, you need to elevate the sinus membrane. Therefore, one cast was considered in placing these implants. The surgery itself was very simple and quick because one guide was used. Further bone grafting was not done, so the surgery was proceeded flapless. Let's take a look at how the surgery was performed.
Let us review the surgery once again. This is the pre-op intraoral image, and you can see that significant amount of resorption occurred in the major graft site. The site with most amount of graft material showed a notable amount of resorption. One guide template was adapted and thereafter implants were placed. There were no major problems placing the implant. This is post op panoramic image. This is post op CT number 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Implants were placed in the desired positions. In my opinion, the patient would have to wait longer compared with other patients. I think a final prosthesis would be delivered at around December this year. Up until now, there are no major problems. Right now, it's November, and up to the November follow-up, there are no major problems. Although it was not my intent, the patient went through a number of surgeries, and despite such numerous number of surgeries, I was not able to get the desired result. And this is a case where I felt really bad and looked back on my past steps. I'm sure there's a host of factor, but I still wonder what factors may have come into the play because of me. This is the kind of result that we all don't want to get, regardless of your intent. Sometimes you may face undesirable results, but don't feel too let down. Learn from your mistakes and move on to get better results. This was a case that led me to look back on myself, and I really learned a lot from this. Thank you for watching till the end. In the next lecture, I'll bring a more impressive case with better results. Thank you for watching.